Hello, this is a video on groups um, and layers, basically understanding what they do um, and how to effectively use them. What are these groups and layers? Groups and layers um, basically combined multiple samples. So as we've got here, we've got three kicks. And what we can do is we can set those up so we don't need to put a um, pattern down in our step sequencer each time for every single kick we just do it for one kick uh, one layer and it will play these three all at the same time so how do we go about this very very simple all we do is we can do it two ways we can go into our channels add one or layers or we can go right click insert and go just under our first lot is layers select that and here we go we've got a new layer selected so what can we do from here right uh, we have settings as you can see under our layings we layers layings layering shall I say and get my words out right um, what these are is we have set children and show children these kicks that we'll be adding will be our children and once they're all setting into the layer we click show, show children and it will show us the ones that we're using for that layer if we have random selected this will trigger one of our kicks each time we have an, a sequence a note playing we can also cross fade these um, and that just fades in between the different sounds when we're playing our kick and the cross fade level you can detune, uh, define uh, what our crossfade does. So, how do we set us up putting these kicks into our layer? Simple as clicking on this select button here and then we need to shift click the other ones that we would like to select and then we go over to here to select children group children and we set a filter name for them so we just put in a kicks and there we go simple as that so now if we go into our drop down menu this shows our channel filters so we can have multiple ones for our kicks our snares our hi-hats and what have you and just go back to all and now once we do this it should play like so. So now if we go into just our unsorted, you can see we have one layer for our kick. And now we can rename that as kick. Uh, oops, wrong way. That's for our pattern, stupid me. You go into kick. And if we hit F2 in any of our windows here that we rename, so if we rename a pattern um, or a channel in our mixer, all we need to do is hit F2 and we can cycle through all the different colours like so. And I'll just have it as a bright colour if I can find one, like a yellow, and there we go. We now have for our kick. If we go into claps, we can do the same again. Just go to insert, layers, make sure this one's selected. Hit shift as we clicked on our selection. We set children and then we can group those into its own channel. So we group children and we make that collapse. And there we go. It's in our, our own separate channel there go back to unsorted oh I forgot to take that off collapse so now we have nothing playing as we see nothing playing here and then we go into uh, unsorted just put like so and you've pretty much got a solid snare or clap sound and that's how you set up groups um, and layers. Um, also, if you would like to delete one of these, 
you find that it's not working properly, just right click down here and just delete. You can also rename it that way. So we can delete our layers and it will keep the original samples but just put them back into the unsorted like so. And that's how you go around doing it. So I hope this little uh, oh, this tutorial has been useful. Until next time, practice and enjoy.